Oh yeah. A month wait. And it's finally, can she see me? I hope she can't see me. Ooh. Thank you very much. Before this video begins, I want to do a quick announcement. December 16th, we will be dropping more merch, a lot more merch actually. Um, it will include Civic merch, it will include more Sora merch, and it'll also include more Sad Boy style merch and stuff like that, along with some headwear. So it should be uh, really cool. And we are dropping it on December 16th, which is also my birthday. So I think that's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's just uh, jump into this video. And I hope you guys are excited for the merch because it's cool. Okay, bye. Today's the day, boys. As you guys know, and for those who are new subscribers, welcome, but as you guys know, we did a full like tan to black conversion on the interior of the Soar. When I got it, it was full tan, it was gross looking, and we did a full black conversion uh, using Sem paint, and it came out so good, but uh, since then, I have been trying to replace the steering wheel in the car and obviously the seats that is to come. Um, I have been trying to replace the steering wheel in this car for so long because big body luxury Lexuses have gigantic steering wheels. It doesn't look good at all. And I've been trying to hunt down this specific steering wheel for months. And I was able to finally get my hand on one and it came today. And I'm so excited. I don't see many people buying these, at least on YouTube. And I think that it'll be a really cool addition to the interior uh, of the Soar. So, let's get to the shop. Even though we're still going out to breakfast, I still had to get a coffee. I have a problem. Arthur! <laughs> you need to have faith, Arthur. Red Dead. You need to get some food. <laughs> right, look at this thing, huh? Fully detailed. You get ceramic coated. Yes. Stuff like, ooh. Yes. I thought you were talking about that. Ooh. <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm not that shit. shit about man. About. <laughs> we will be back after we get food and we will reveal the steering wheel and put the steering wheel in. It'll be a good day. I'm pumped. It's a MoMA grid. It's <laughs> a the fuck up. The baby girl. I haven't seen this thing in. <laughs> Three days. It feels so weird walking in here with like a completely different layout. Like these cars used to be in the same exact spot for like a year, but now everything's so wide open. But just got back from food, was super good, and now we are going to get started on the steering wheel, which I am super excited to show you guys because I've wanted one for a while, and now I finally have one. So, so this is the factory steering wheel. Back when the entire interior was tan, obviously it went with it a lot nicer, but now that the interior is fully black, along with these ugly cloth seats, uh, they need to go. So the steering wheel will be the first to go, and uh, I think the new steering wheel will fit this home uh, very well, so. Let's go get the steering wheel. Isn't that crazy how light that, <laughs> like. So I was originally gonna go with just a Nardi um, for this car, but, I wanted it to be something a little more special. Um, these steering wheels are hard to find because they're so sought after and uh, I'm stoked I was able to find one. I searched months and uh, came up with it on eBay actually in brand new condition because every store had it sold out. Um, but this is the steering wheel. I fucking love this thing. You guys ready? It's the king of Versace, baby. <laughs> Let's go. this thing. It's pretty light. It is. It's crazy. When the box came this morning and I picked it up, like, it felt just like a box. Like, there was nothing inside it. I was like, did I get gypped? Like, is there a steering wheel in here? Or is there... <laughs> I, I was worried that there wasn't a steering wheel in there, but she's in there. This is their more of a subtle kind of design. A lot of their steering wheels are very in your face, but this one has nice subtle black stitching black leather, gold lace, and then obviously the king of vertex on the back, and uh, it is super cool. So, 
I guess we're just gonna tear into the interior, get the stock steering wheel out, and see how this thing fits up and go from there. I also had to get a, uh, a vertex horn button because the guy on eBay, he wasn't selling it with the horn button, um, so I had to pick one up. But I'm super stoked that I was able to find this at all because every single store was sold out and the only person that had it was some dude in Illinois who bought it brand new and never used it. So thank you from Illinois, whoever your name is. And I also, for now, I got just the uh, NRG short hub and the NRG Gen 2.0 uh, quick release and those should do for now. Maybe further down the line, I'll get like a cooler style quick release or a Momo hub and stuff to keep it more subtle. But for now, uh, these hubs and stuff will do fine. So let's see how we need to take the steering wheel out. All right, so just like every factory steering wheel, uh, there's normally some clips that you pop out on the sides here. And then there's gonna be screws on the inside of those. And then that will take the uh, airbag or horn off. And then under that is the nut for the steering column. So not too hard, but I'm super stoked to see how this steering wheel looks on the inside of this car. Let's get the necessary tools and start uh, ripping into this thing. Also, before I do this, smash like. Vertex steering wheel, that's so awesome. I'm so stoked on this. It's like a $600 steering wheel setup, but it's fucking worth it as you stare at me over there. <laughs> Let's do it. So, now you just gotta kinda whack it loose. Cuts off, nut came off uh, pretty easily, so we're just gonna whack it and see if it comes off. So I'm just gonna whack it like rats. <laughs> this is going a lot smoother than I expected. Something's gonna go wrong. Now I'm just gonna take the uh, column plastic off so that I can get to the uh, rest of the stuff. All right, so now you got your splines right here, and the NRG hub has the splines. It's kind of like an axle, and uh, make sure the NRG logo is facing up. Doesn't really matter, but I have OCD, so it bothers me if it's not. And just like that, NRG hub is fitted. And uh, now you just put the nut on, which you have here. Slide said nut on. Tighten it down, and uh, you're ready to mount your uh, quick release and your steering wheel. And I'm gonna put this plastic back on because I hate looking at it bare. All right, so plastic is back on. NRG hub is on and tight, and uh, it looks awesome. So much better than this thing. And uh, now we can get the quick release. Originally, I was looking for a Gen 1. In my opinion, the first Gen NRG quick releases are like the nicest because they're just so simple and they don't have crazy colors and they don't look like they came straight from Mars. Um, but the one that I wanted was out of stock. I just wanted black. Um, but the Gen 2 was in stock. It just has a carbon fiber ring on it. So I'm not too sure how I'm feeling the carbon fiber, but it'll work for now. And if down the line I want to change it to a different style NRG uh, or a Momo or a Keys Racing or whatever style uh, hub that I want, then we can do that. But here is the... Energy second gen quick release. Simple and easy, just your normal thing. All right, so we got our little NRG quick release uh, section here and mounted the same way. Logo facing up, just like the hub, and it'll mount up just like that. I got my hardware in the uh, cup holder here and it just uses an, uh, an Allen key. So I'm gonna zip this on real quick and then we'll be that much closer.
All right, hub and quick release is on and installed. And I just realized this because I didn't buy this directly from Vertex or from a distributor and I got it from someone's technically second hand even though he never used it. Um, it doesn't come with bolts. So we don't have any bolts to put this steering wheel on and we need those obviously to do this. So I think we're gonna have to take a trip to Lowe's and find some recessed black bolts to put in there. And uh, we also need to go to the bathroom because our shop has no bathroom. So we're gonna do that. And then we can finally get this steering wheel installed. Acquired. I think this thing would make a pretty cool off-road vehicle. Hmm? No? No, you don't you think so? Die. <laughs> How are the fucking shocks? A little, a little bit. Let's make a good low rider. <laughs> Alright, one low trip later, we got the correct screws. I have the steering wheel cap here and the steering wheel inside the car. So I'm going to put this in and put the steering wheel on. And then after that, I will adhere the little Vertex logo on there. And we will be done with this install. And we will have a dope King Black Vertex leather steering wheel. All right guys, so I'm, I'm looking at it now. I'm so glad I went with the steering wheel. We went from this thing, which is old, tan, gross, and just covered in 27 year old, you know, schmegma, I don't know what you'd call that, to a brand new Vertex King black leather steering wheel with quick releases and all that stuff. So here it is. Look at how nice this is in the interior compared to this gigantic tan one. This one's a lot smaller than the factory steering wheel, but honestly, I like the way that it looks. It's simple and it's a very subtle Vertex steering wheel. It's not like some of their other crazier designs, but I am so stoked on this. These steering wheels go so, so fast when they get made and like I contacted every single um, manufacturer, or every distributor none of them had it they were all 14 weeks out so glad i was able to find one at least if you come around the front too when you're looking at the car from the front you can see the king of vertex on the back and i'm gonna have gold in here as well as another theme of the car there's gonna be a little bit of gold in here so this is just kind of like the first uh little piece of uh, authentic Vertex Gold, which I'm stoked on. What are your thoughts? Do you like it or do you hate it? Do you like it or do you hate it? I love it. He loves it. Okay, <laughs> good. That means you guys need to love it too, okay? Smash that motherfucking like button. <laughs> so, brand new Vertex steering wheel, quick release, hub, super clean, all black, and uh, matches the interior and I'm super stoked on it. Not entirely sure if I want to get this car wrapped first or if I want to start taking some things off like the tail lights, the headlights, sending those out to get LED'd and clear housings and all that stuff. That stuff's gonna take a while and if I do that, then I won't be able to move or drive the car legally on the street because I won't have lights at all um, until I get them back, so. I don't know which one I'm gonna do first. Leave it down in the comments what you guys think. I also am debating on doing a Q&A over the weekend because the last time that I did a Q&A was like February of 2018. So that's like 10 months ago. Um, and I haven't done one in a long time. So if you guys are down for a Q&A, I can do that over this weekend, answer a bunch of questions and stuff that you guys may have. That's about it for today. I wanted to, the problem with this was it said it was gonna arrive Wednesday, today's Friday. And it didn't arrive Wednesday and it didn't arrive Thursday, and the shipping wasn't updating itself, so I had no idea when this was actually gonna show up. Um, and then it showed up today, so I was like, I gotta get this thing in now. And it's in, and I'm stoked on it. So, enough talking. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And I think we're gonna start tearing into the Civic this weekend, officially. So, stay looking forward to that, and possibly the Q&A, and Pierce is Snapchatting me. Have a good one.